The Grand Rounds forms a basis for quality of life and a basis for how we use and how we enjoy the city. It's a social gathering place, it's a place for exercise. It's a way for us to enjoy the city in profound ways that isn't available in every other city around America. The Grand Rounds creates a pattern of development where the greatest amenities of the city, the natural features, are given over to the public. There's very little waterfront that's not publicly owned. All the lakeshore, all the river banks, and most of the creek banks as well are public property. And that changes the whole configuration of the city and how we relate to our natural resources. People that live a half mile away from the lake still consider it their lake instead of just the people who live around the lake. The Grand Rounds consists of really simple components. There's the, the natural feature itself, which is usually water, but not always, and a linear trail system that gets people to the Grand Rounds by foot and by bike, and a parkway system that allows people to traverse the Grand Rounds by car. So much of social and civic life in Minneapolis happens around bodies of water. Lake Harriet, the bandstand there, was created in the 1880s and has always been one of the major draws, uh, one of the major social activities in, in the Twin Cities, people going to concerts. And Minnehaha Park has become a central location or a destination for people in Minneapolis over 100 years as well. So they've been gathering places, I think, as one of the, one of the major attractions, which does create a sense of community. It impacts the quality of life in the city and the way we enjoy public space more so than really any other city uh, in America, and that could be why Minneapolis has been named the, the best park system in America uh, four years running. And no matter where you go throughout the city, whether it's commercial space adjacent to the Grand Rounds or residential land adjacent, um, it becomes a point of entry to the city and a way of navigating the city that allows people to understand the place that they're in in a really profound way. The Grand Round becomes this organizing element for public space and public gathering and public interaction. It becomes, it is really a signature for the way people enjoy the city of Minneapolis. And it has been for a long time and it could be why Minneapolis is so celebrated around its park system and has been for so many years.